Hey, I'm Mike from Wisec, and today we're going to talk about our Polaris Pro R Turbo System. When we set out to design this kit, we wanted to take an OE approach. If Polaris was going to turbocharge the Pro R, how would they do that? The materials we're using, the engineering, and the fitment is all very OE, and that's what we pride ourselves at here at Wisec. It's very easy to get some tubes, weld the turbo on, and, and call it a turbo kit, but there is a very big difference between the quality of engineering at this level compared to some other options out there. At the heart of our turbo system is a cast stainless steel manifold. It's very important to use cast material for multiple reasons. We have a turbocharger hanging off the side of the engine, so there's a lot of force going on, especially in an off-road condition. This manifold and this turbocharger get red hot, so they go through lots of thermal expansion and contraction, there's vibration, so going to a solid cast material is very, very important. The other thing to know is that a turbocharger is really a heat recovery device. Keeping as much heat retained from the engine and getting it into the turbo is the key. Being a cast manifold, we're insulating, we're keeping as much of that heat in the manifold as possible. So from our cast manifold, we go into our Garrett ball bearing, American made and warranted quality turbocharger. This is internally gated, billet wheel, and can support much more power than our stage one and stage two systems can make. But the power band, the delivery, and the linear power curve are exactly what we wanted for this, this car. We wanted a car that you could race off-road, not just a, a glamorous dino queen um, that's got to have a really peaky power band. We wanted instantaneous linear power, and this turbocharger at this size that we've spec'd gets you that power delivery. Moving on from the turbocharger, we have our extremely big intercooler. This is a four and a half inch wide core. We have three small fans that keep air flowing through it, even when you're not moving. And it has our blow felt built into the side. The, where we position the intercooler is very important. It allows us to keep the intake pipe track very, very short. So the distance between the turbocharger, the intercooler, and then into the throttle body is very, very small. And we position this in an area directly behind the seats, and we include a cover that closes in that area. Nothing else goes in this area. Some people have a spare tire rack that goes in the bed, or you have other accessories. This is one area where no other parts are gonna get in the way, no other accessories. And it's a really, really ideal location for protection, airflow, and supporting all the other modifications you already have. It's, it's all the little things that make the difference. It's the heat shield. This heat shield's made to go over the manifold to keep all the radiant heat from coming and getting to intake piping and things that we wanna keep cool. The silicone tubing that goes from, from the turbocharger to the intercooler, everything's custom made, custom fit. It's not, it's not you're not gonna maybe make runs to a Home Depot to try to get this thing in. It is an OE solution. We include everything you need, spark plugs that are already one step colder, injectors, larger map sensor, and we include the software that makes all this work perfectly. We have years of software tuning into this kit. We, the, we had turbo cars that were turbocharged a year before ever releasing any of this. Lots of R&D and testing were done before this went to market. The airbox is something that we spent a lot of time on doing as well. This airbox goes directly in the front of the turbocharger. It's fed by the factory frog skin pre-filter. So all the OE qualities of having a pre-filter there are there. And we designed this and, and modeled it in CAD in a way to get the centrifugal force and have the larger particles flung to the outside. And then we have a little uh, valve here that those larger particles will come out of, will fall out of. And it keeps a lot of the debris from clogging the air filter. So we even made our own air filter. This is a off-road designed air filter. It's a paper element, not a cotton and oiled element, which is ideal for off-road. It has a steel exo cage to prevent large debris from coming in here and piercing the paper filter. And this all is in a nice tight package. It's easy to access and get to and change and clean out if needed. Um, and that's just one of those little details that goes with the entire kit. Uh, we also, have thought of the future. So there's some other items that we've gone over, like in our intake piping, we have a provision for water methanol injection. A lot of people wanting to go above a stage one and stage two for higher horsepower want to have capabilities, but we already thought of that when we designed the kit. Those provisions are already there. So we have two kits. We have our stage one kit, which comes with a downpipe like this. This is on the turbocharger. This is going to the factory muffler. And inside that factory muffler 
is a catalytic converter and it retains all the emissions devices. This is a lower boost kit. This is a much quieter kit. Um, and a lot of people like that. Stepping up to a stage two where you remove the factory muffler and the catalytic converter and everything in there. And this is a race setup and you get this unit, which is a work of art. Stainless steel bellow, it's directly off the turbo, uh, a dual pass two muffler, and then our custom tip. Um, and this is gonna get rid of all that back pressure from the stock muffler. And it's gonna allow us to run more boost more efficiently and get as much back pressure and heat out to safely make more power. And this is all on stock engines. Stage one and stage two is completely compatible with a stock engine. So both of our systems are designed to run on 91, on Pemex. We've had them all over the country doing all sorts of testing. Running more octane is always a good thing, especially on our stage two cars. But everything is designed, the software, the tuning is designed to when things get hot, it protects it, it pulls some power out. It is an OE level calibration. It's not a, a dyno queen. Let's see how much power we can get and this the car's gonna blow up the first time we take it out. Everything has been tested. There's provisions, there's protections that are in the ECU, in our custom software that make this a perfect OE level kit. So whether you have a Gen 1 or a Gen 2 Pro R like behind me, this turbo kit fits both. Hop on our website, you can put your year make model in, check power numbers, look at dynographs for both the stage one and the stage two, and look at all the little details if you have any more questions. Reach out to us and we'll see you around.